Thank you, Patrick. You can't buy flavored tobacco in California since its ban went into effect a few months ago. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe followed up with several smoke shops to see how business is going. The state's ban on flavored tobacco and vapes took effect two months ago. But smoke shop employees tell me business is holding steady. Well, the store has been able to stay open for regular hours. Um, I, it was a little, there was a little lull for like about a month where people weren't coming in at all. And we noticed, I believe I noticed that there was a drop in sales. Sigs and Stokies isn't the only business that lost money. Other businesses I spoke with say they've lost thousands of dollars in sales since the ban went into effect. Several smoke shops have had to increase prices to stay afloat, cut hours, and one product has seen an increase in usage. But there was also an increase with cigarette selling because especially like with older people, like people in their 50s and stuff like that, they got off cigarettes and they went to e-cigarettes and flavored vapes and stuff like that. But since they can't have their flavored um, e-cigarettes anymore, they switched back to cigarettes. Some shops told me they're waiting on the tobacco industry to do something or release a new product. Others are trying to add different products to the shelves. I believe my I believe my boss has been trying to secure some hookah stuff and start selling hookah at the shop because we're one of the only smoke shops I think downtown that don't any don't sell any hookah equipment. So we might be jumping into that. Farrar told me she's seeing an increase in cigarette sales, but isn't seeing many young adults buy them. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. In addition to the flavor ban, a new tobacco ban might be put in place. California Assembly Bill 935 was introduced last Tuesday, and it aims to ban anyone born after 2007 from buying tobacco ever in the state.